Welcome to the Leadership Boost. It's Tuesday. You're getting me for the second time today. Uh, we are dealing with the principles, points, tips, the things that you need, the little, the little gears that you need to keep moving forward, to keep developing your leadership in your life, regardless of your role, regardless of what you're doing. There is a specific paradigm that I'm speaking to. There is a specific person kind of person that I'm speaking to, but I'm sure wherever you are in the world, you can glean something from these that you can implement to change your life, to bring transformation. Hey, we need you to be the inspirational, transformational, high impact leader that only you can be, that only you can be in your world, that your world needs right now, wherever you are in the world, however you're doing it, you need to be the leader. Maybe you're virtual, maybe you are a service provider, maybe you are, you know, working with a team, maybe you are an entrepreneur, a enterprise, small business owner, maybe you're even a ministry leader. These principles apply to everyone and you can apply them to your life to make you move forward. So this is with a specific focus that I'm bringing this, but daily something that you can shift in your leadership. I'm not talking about guru status. I'm not talking about celebrity. I'm not talking about becoming the next, you know, um, whatever. Warren Buffett um, It's just you being the leader. You can be where you are today. I've just experienced so many leaders that do not know how to lead. They call themselves leaders. They actually function in a leadership role, and yet they don't know how to function as a leader. They don't know how to build the relationships. They don't know how to set direction with purpose, with passion, with conviction. They don't know how to communicate that. They don't know how to pull everybody onto the same page. Generally, it's with old mindsets, old styles of leadership, which is do as I tell you, shut up and do as I tell you. Don't do as I do, do as I tell you to do. You know, it's the usual, the usual, the usual. But we cannot solve old problems or new problems with old mindsets and old ways of leadership. We're in a global situation right now with new generational people coming up who are, you know, both servant-minded, they follower-minded, they are leadership, wanting leadership. They're wanting people to give them direction. And you can do it. You can be the person that can do that. So let's talk a little bit tonight about the second component of what I started this morning. And that is success doesn't just happen. We're talking about strategy. Success doesn't just happen. It's planned for. You have to plan for success. It can't just happen. And hey, I'm, you know, I'm like one of those people that I like to just work off the, the spontaneity. I get creative ideas and I just work with them. But I'm having to learn to discipline myself to work to a plan that takes me forward. Hence, we have the strategic alignment um, assessment called the leadership dashboard. To get yourself focused and grounded, to get yourself doing what you need to do, the most important things that you need to do to keep you moving forward. Because if you don't, you end up going in all different directions. And then when you experience overwhelm, you experience crisis, you feel like giving up. But success doesn't just happen. It's planned for. How do you plan? Well, strategies. A strategy is a plan of action intended to achieve a specific purpose. We've spoken about the, the components of that I see as three main components of leadership. Purpose, plan, and people. And you've got to have all three in place. You've got to balance and align all three to be effective. And the only way to effectively align all three is to in fact work with work with strategy a strategic plan the center the core of it is strategic principles with a strategic purpose a strategy plan and strategic relationships that's what moves you forward into high impact and great influence regardless of who you are 
It's time to get off the couch and be counted for at this point in time. <laughs> That's what it takes. You can't just float. Dead fish float, somebody said. You don't want to be a floater. You don't want to just be passive. Arrive at the end of your life and say, I wish I had. Get into action now and say, I'm going to do something. I'm going to affect somebody's life. But I'm going to do it strategically. So why strategy? Strategy brings a sense of focus. Because strategyblocks.com, I found this on strategyblocks.com. It says, because a strategic plan establishes a direction. Number one, it establishes a direction for your leadership to take. It will help you sharpen your focus in order to get you there, where, in the direction that you want to go. Strategic planning can therefore help you develop the right goals and targets. So number three, it helps you develop the right goals and targets and helps everyone, number four, focus their efforts. It gets everybody focusing on a theme. How are we going to reach those goals and targets? And it keeps everybody focused on the right thing. Three things that you need to know is a strategic plan. When you, when you actually dive into, as a team, to do st strategic planning, it's designed to uncover potential strategic initiatives, to develop a short list, list of three key priorities and an overarching strategic theme. That's what the whole process is about. So when you look at your leader's, leader's dashboard, there's two very important components that are established in when I do the assessment and, I, and we begin to work through that as a journey, then you'll find there's two very important parts of your um, strategic purpose that flows out of your strategic purpose into your strategic planning and that is performance goals so number one is your what goals are you setting it is a strong component to keep you your team and your organization and your enterprise whatever your enterprise is aligned so everything keeps in aligned to performance goals we're focusing not more than three those are the things we focused on then there's key strategic initiatives it's also a strong component of keeping your leadership grounded. Strategic initiatives are not business as usual, somebody said. They are the few critical projects key to improving your, your delivery on your purpose or your mission, your vision, keeping your values grounded into or a, a, an integral part of what you're doing. You uncover both of these with your strategic planning process. That's why you do a strategic planning process. You don't do it so you can just have a nice weekend away and a nice discussion. And listen, I'm talking to you as a leader as well. I'm not just talking about your organization, your team or your business. I'm saying to you as a leader, as a sole business owner, as an enterprise leader, as you know, if you're leadership in any form or fashion, just as a leader, this is something that you need to be doing for your own life. You need to go on a journey for yourself and saying, what is my strategic focus? What is my plan for my leadership? Where am I going? Because then you can line up your branding, your personal branding with it, your strategic branding. You get it all aligned to your strategic purpose, that, that overall big picture and now you can set in place, if you're struggling with what are my performance goals and what are my strategic initiatives, then you need to sit down and do a strategic planning process for yourself. Work it out and take some time and dig into it a little bit. So you'll uncover both your performance goals, your initiatives and a few other things. But mainly, what do we need to focus on right now? Not not 20,000 things, not 150 things, not even 20 things, three to five things this year. What do you want to focus on? What do I need to focus on as a leader? And then what is my team focusing on? There are some principles that must be incorporated into your leadership to be successful. You must have the right mindset and attitude. You must discover your strategic purpose. 
And then you must have a strategic plan to help you fulfill that purpose. These are critical. Having a plan is essential, but developing a strategy should always come first. Just planning for planning's sake never, never is as, uh, as effective or it never is effective until you've done the strategic planning process to actually establish it. So that's what I want to share with you tonight. You know, I do VIP days, so a half day or a full day where I just spend time with the leader and go through all the components necessary from a dashboard uh, on, on the leaderships of big picture, strategic and tactical issues that are essential. Go through all of them and deep dive, take a whole day and get that strategic purpose established. One day, get it all laid out for you. You'll be tired, but you will have accomplished a real direction for your life. So you can do that. You can pop over to book booking book with me on Sean's Leadership Coaching um, on Facebook.com. All right. So thanks for being with me again. This is Sean saying over and out.